Everyone has desires in their hearts. Sometimes these are not of the Lord, and sometimes they are things approved by God. Whatever that is, you need to align it with God's plan, and that this is what He wants for you. And you need to be intentional with your choice of desires. Many people desire ungodly things, and no way will God grant them. Although God has promised that He would give us whatever we ask for in sincerity, but God cannot grant a desire that will hurt other people or even ourselves. You need to be prayerful about all things. There will be a time that you would be so in sync with God that you would never desire what He does not want for you. When you have something that you desire so much and you are sure that this is what God would grant you, just pray to God about it. Talk to God always to grant your heart's desires. Talk to God always. God will be happy to grant your heart's desires as long as they are not going to hurt anyone or hurt you. Many things you pray about, God has heard you. You think God has forgotten all that you prayed to Him about, but He has not. You need to continue praying. God might not be granting your desires either because they are ungodly and would harm you or because it is not time yet. God can delay it if He feels it is not time yet. God has the perfect timing, and He is aware of everything that is going on in this world. He has everything under control. He knows what you desire, and He knows the best time to give you all you desire. When it seems like God is not listening, you need to be patient as God may be waiting for the perfect time to answer all your prayers. God will make your desires and prayers come to pass as long as everything you are after is what will benefit you and encourage you to the kingdom of God. You have been patient enough, and it is time for God to reward you for your patience. God sees it all, and God will come through for you. His blessings will overflow in your life, and you will witness all that you have prayed for. You just need to hang in there and keep praying to God, as He is the only one who can make your dreams come true. God has ordered us to always run to Him in every situation. He has promised to give our soul rest, and He can and He would. God is gentle and humble in heart, and He wants us to come and learn from Him. He has and will always be the one we run to when we need help. He has power over everything on earth. God is the Messiah, the Helper, the Writer of our fate, and the Enforcer of destiny. He is the all-knowing God. He wants us to learn from Him. He has the power to do all things, but He still chooses to be lenient and forgiving to the soul that has gone astray. God has truly overcome the world as He created everything, both living and non-living things. He is not assuring that there will be no moments of challenges. All He is saying is that He would be with us. We should not lose hope. We should always know that we serve a living God and He will never watch us suffer. God loves us so much, but we have no idea how much He loves us. We should reciprocate this love by living a fulfilled life dedicated to serving God. We need to always serve God and be appreciative of all He has done in our lives. God will always guide and protect us. We have an obligation to receive instructions from Him and do exactly what He instructed us to do. Disobedience brings punishment. God has promised that He would always give us instructions on what to do and when to do it. All we need to do is communicate with Him. When we lose that communication, He would also be far from us and He would not bother to instruct us on what to do next. A life without God is a life without purpose. We can all agree that the life of an unbeliever turns out different. There are differences that make you know that God is involved in someone's life. I'm not saying they would not face challenges, but they would have hope that everything is going to be fine. God has made you righteous through the blood of Jesus. You will receive your blessings and favor all through your life. You will get immense affection from God. God will use His favor to shield you all around, and this is the first thing people see in your life. God will help you find favor from Him and other humans. Every day, 
You will see people do anything to bless you. You will find favor easily from everyone you meet and everything you lay your hands on. The opportunities that you could not get before will begin to open for you. You will be treated in a special way and you will be given uncommon privileges. It will be glaring that you are in God's favor because God will show you every good thing. God will shield you from your enemies and you will be a winner. You will begin to see progress in all ramifications of life. All things stolen from you by the devil will be restored. You will be honored amongst others and you will have great increase in your assets, your affairs with others and all the good things in life. God has his favor all over you, so you will be victorious in everything you do. Everything that seems impossible will be possible for you by his grace. You will be recognized among your peers and given great honor. Promotions will happen all over your lives. All the laws, rules, and regulations will be modified for you. By God's grace, battles will be won without you having to lift a finger. God has blessed all your ways. He has set this day aside for you to experience all His blessings and mercies, and He will give you unending favor in everything you lay your hands on. You will see what God's faithfulness looks like. There will exist no worries nor doubt. You should always trust Him and believe He will never fail you. You should bear in mind all God has promised and become everything He created you to be. God has a will for you, and He is working on His will in your life. This will can never be stopped by people. There is a solution to all your problems, and God has the solution to them all. The exact right people you need to encounter and the exact successes you need in your life. You will surely fulfill your destiny. There would be massive blessings all over your life. You will always have the forward-thinking mentality so that you will have more than enough. Favor doors will open for your sake. The right people you need will be revealed to you. God's grace will be upon you. God's blessings and favors will be all over you. You will always be present where you are expected to be. You will find favor in the sight of God and man. Your desires and prayers will come to pass, and you will feel all the blessings and grace you desire. God will bless you even beyond your expectations. You will be celebrated amongst your peers, and God will be there for you all through your life journey. All you need to do is keep praying to God, and He would always turn up whenever you need Him. You need to continue praying to God about your desires as there is light at the end of the tunnel and you are almost at the end of that tunnel. You will see the light at the end of that tunnel and it will be worth your sacrifices.